Alright, so we have Walt Harris versus Martian Tybura. So, Walt Harris has got a 2-inch height advantage. Martian Tybura, I think, has a 1-inch reach advantage. Actually, I think Walt Harris's reach is actually 77 inches, so... I don't think that's correct on topology, but yeah, it is what it is. Martian Tybura is on a 4-fight win streak. Walt Harris has been finished in his last two fights, so... You know, both careers going in a little bit of a different direction. Walt Harris likes to get his work done early. He's... In his last 10 fights in the UFC, uh, 9 have ended inside the distance, whereas Martian Tybura doesn't mind hanging around a bit. Three of his last four fights have gone a decision, and generally when he wins, it's by decision. In his last six wins, five are by decision. Uh, we'll break down the strike into these two. So for Walt Harris, he comes in as a southpaw. He likes to close the distance, land his boxing combinations, and get back out at distance. When he closes the distance, he's looking for that right hook in the pocket or the straight left in close, and then he looks to get back out of range. At range, he'll throw a body kick versus orthodox opponents, and, you know, Marchin Tybora, he's known to switch it up a little bit. He switches his stance quite frequently, and he does have underrated counters in the pocket, like he does have a decent inside game, and I think, and I think he went away with it a little bit, you know. I think maybe while he was getting his confidence back, you know, confidence in his chin back, then maybe he stopped using that inside game a little bit and started using his grappling a lot more. Because, yeah, I think he has a really nice inside game and he wasn't using it recently until his last fight with Big Ben. It looked really nice. And uh, I think he, I think he's kind of back, you know, he's back being comfortable in that range. Nice counter three in the pocket. 3-2, three, 2-3 two, two, three combination. And he always throws out something when he does want to enter the pocket just so, you know, he isn't closing the distance too recklessly. And he also has nice kicks, nice kicks and close as well. Sneaky little low kick in the pocket, which he used against Big Ben a few times. But yeah, as I said earlier, like he's been using his grappling quite a bit lately. And he'll look to duck under like a jab or a two, look for the double leg from there, get onto the hips pretty much. But Walt Harris, he does have strong hips. He's, you know, he's hard to hit a double on Walt Harris. He's got very strong hips. But sometimes Tybora will just use that that shot just to get into the clinch and look for trips from there. And I think his trips are his best takedowns. And if he can't get the trips going, he'll go for the double leg on the fence or a single leg on the fence. And Walt Harris, his balance didn't look great when he was defending that single leg from Verdum. Like, that's only one example, but I pr that's the only single leg defense I could find of Walt Harris recently. And it doesn't look like he has much at all off his back, honestly. He, you know, his guard can be easily passed. He gives his back to get back to his feet whenever he can get back to his feet. But generally, it's pretty easy to control him on the mat. And Tybora, you know, he's a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. He's he's good on top. He's got good control. He'll mix in short ground and pound elbows. He's 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 patient on top. How these guys win fights? So for Walt Harris, he's got that power and the speed combination. He's definitely got the power advantage here. And for Tybora, he's got good cardio for heavyweight, and he's got good pacing as well. And he knows how to win decisions, which is quite an uncommon trait to have at heavyweight. Like he knows what he needs to do and he implements a game plan to set that in motion, and that's not very common with heavyweights. And he definitely has a cardio advantage here, and, you know, his chin looks looks better, looks, you know, improved. At least his confidence in his chin is better than it was previously. Uh, but he does look, yeah, a bit more comfortable out there again. How these guys lose fights? So for Tybora, he's had his bell rung a few times. You know, I'm not 100% sold that his chin is back, but he seems to be a little bit more confident with it. And for Walt Harris, it's the grappling tendencies that we mentioned before. And also, he has poor cardio. However, he is able to be effective late in like low-paced affairs, like the Arlovsky fight. He was pretty effective late, but, you know, generally, if you push him, he has poor cardio. Pass to victory for these guys. Alright, so for Walt Harris, look for the straight left, the high kick and the body kick opportunities when he is in orthodox. And look for that right hook when he does switch southpaw. That's what you can look for when he does switch the stance up a little bit. But basically, look to exchange with him. I think you have the power and you have the chin advantage. So look to, you know, bait him into a little bit of a brawl, a little bit of a striking match. So don't forget your kicks at distance. So the inside low kick is going to be on, the high kick and the body kick are going to be there. For Tybura, look to feint on the feet a lot. You know, Walt Harris does bite on feints quite a bit. So yeah, look to feint a lot. Look to push a pace early on, just to try and wear at that gas tank. And where I believe the path of least resistance is for Tybura would be the takedown. So go for the single legs. His balance looked really shaky when he got taken down by Verdum. So look for that single leg, look to get top control, and then take the back when he tries to get back to his feet. 
Uh, how I see the fight playing out. So on the feet, early on, I think Walt Harris will prove his speed advantage and power advantage, you know. Very well could get Tybura out of there early. But as the fight goes on, I believe Tybura will have some more success later on. But he also could have some success in the first round too. But I think more so later on, where he starts pulling away with the volume. I think the Southpaw versus Orthodox dynamic definitely favours Walt Harris, as the power straight, the high kick, the body kick are all there for him, and that's some of his best weapons. So I think Walt should definitely try and win the outside foot battle here. I think that would open up a lot of his offense. Whereas Tybura, he likes to be in the pocket. He likes to, ex you know, exchange a little bit, look for his counter hooks in the pocket, his inside game. So I think the fa that dynamic definitely does favor Walt Harris. But I do believe the difference maker in this one will be the cardio and the grappling of Tybura. But getting Walt Harris down at distance isn't easy, so he'll likely want to get him into the clinch and try his luck there with his trips and all that. Or the single leg, which is, you know, totally available as Walt in that southpaw stance, his lead leg is right there as Tybor is in the orthodox stance, so he could just pretty much grab the lead leg or just wait for Walt to close distance and then, you know, go for the single. And it's totally possible that Walt Harris does absolutely dead Tybor in the first round. You know, Harris, I think it's harder than Tybor's previous opponents on his little win streak at the moment, like uh, Hardy, Grishin, who are the other two, Rothwell, uh, uh, SS, his name starts with S, forgot it. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so I think, I think Greg Hardy's power is a little bit overrated, so I don't, I'm not going to rate Tybor's chin as, as solid <laughs> after being, you know, taking the shots from Greg Hardy, because I'm not sold on Greg Hardy's power. Uh, but I do think Walt Harris hits harder than a lot of them, all of them, actually, by a large mile too. So I do think, yeah, there's a good chance that Walt Harris does knock him out in the first round, but I am going to go with Tybura to outlast him. And I think he finds a submission late, and I think he gets him down eventually, finds a submission. I'm going to pick Tybura to keep the streak going. All right, so I do think Tybura wins. I think he wins by submission either round two or round three. What bets I was looking at was probably Tybora at minus 120 or $1.85. I can't see him getting to that price right now though, so yeah. And yeah, if, if I were to get that price, I'd probably even hedge it with the Walt Harris round one like prop, just because I think that's how he wins the majority of the time. If that's like plus 250 or $3.50, then I'd probably have a stab at that, but yeah, probably looking to stay away from this one.